Yo, yo, it's your boy Jay Boogie back with another video today. Make sure you guys don't forget to press that like button on TikTok. Don't forget to press that subscribe button under my YouTube channel. And don't forget to, most importantly, like this video on my TikTok and on my YouTube channel. So let's get into it. So today, I'll be talking about the 2020s All-Decade First Team. Currently, we're four years in of the 2020s, but currently, as of right now, this is the all-decade first team by each single position. And at the point guard, I got no other than the Magic himself, Luka Magic Doncic. I know it's a controversial take to put him on the first team over Steph Curry. If you put Steph Curry at the point guard position, I'm not mad at it. But the reason why I got Luka Doncic at the point guard position simply came right out, out the gate his rookie year, dominant in his rookie class. His offensive bag, his offensive skill set was already known when he played overseas. But, but once we really saw how deep his bag was his rookie year, I mean, he was incredible. You know, that was just like a sample of what he can do. And, you know, especially... He drawing huge comparisons of a prime James Harden to the Rockets. You know, with the step back size, the slow pace dribbling, you know, ability to draw fast through contact. And man, pretty much look at Doncic, man. You seen his highlights, man. This dude was incredible coming to the league and then already becoming an all-star his second season, all NBA. He pretty much made consecutive all NBA first teams since his second year in the league. Not too many people can say that. <clears throat> not, <clears throat> not too many people can say that. And Luka Doncic pretty much, you know, like I said, as the year went along, his offensive game got that much more lethal in OD. We all know about the step backs, but now how he can dictate the game with his playmaking ability, what he do facilitate the basketball because he's such a great passer. And pretty much this dude is a great, one of the greatest isolation scorers of this decade. And Luka Doncic, man, like I said, ever since I've been talking about since last season or pretty much throughout the last playoffs, you can't make him play out of his own pace. Like, you can't force him to do anything out of character. I mean, other than, you know, make him, you know, overreact and get emotional, but his game itself, you can't force him to play at your pace because he's going to play at his own pace. And Luka Doncic was just phenomenal last season. I was in 34 points per game, scoring bag, and then carrying the Mavericks to the NBA Finals since 2011 with Dirk and Whiskey won, and when I had Justin Kidd and Sean Marion. But pretty much, you know, leading the Mavericks back to the Finals and then Western Conference Finals, and then winning the, uh, excuse me, winning the uh, Western Conference Finals MVP. And, you know, Luka Johnson's, Seeing his highlights, man, it, it, it this dude is incredible. His offensive bag is one of the best in the league to this date. And like I said, you know, pr pretty much the only thing he got to work on is, is really just his defense. But outside of that, he's a great rebounder, a great facilitator passer once he gets, you know, into that mindset of passing the basketball. Um, like I said, outside unless you're scoring, the step back threes, the side steps, the mid range, he can finish at the rim when he wants to. So Lucas, Luka Doncic is a pure offensive, offensive beast, hands freaking down. So he's definitely deserved to be at this point guard position, no doubt about it. And then at the shooting guard of this decade so far, on this first team list, the shooting guard, I got no other than Devin Booker. Yes, Devin Booker. Remember, this list is from 2020 up to current year of 2024. So, Devin Booker has been the best shooting guard since 2020. And, you know, pretty much ever since the arrival of Chris Paul, this offense game has elevated. And each single year, his scoring has uh, improved and his playmaker has improved. But Devin Booker is pretty much one of the best shooting guards, no doubt about it. Scoring ability, a great mid-range scorer, has a nice mid-range pull-up. And I always said this about his game, that he has great transition pull up threes because you have to respect his driving ability and his mid-range game so he's a great three level scorer a guy that can definitely 
definitely play make because obviously ever since I think 2021, 2022, his playmaking has has improved, his assist numbers. But Devin Booker is a smooth scorer. Um, <clears throat> especially, like I said, with ever since I arrived with Chris Paul, his offensive game is elevating even more, not just in one-dimensional, but in all aspects of just complete mid-range game, playmaking ability, and, you know, just being a, a, a great offensive player. And his defense. You know, ever since last season, and then you've seen it in the uh, Summer Olympics, his defense has improved a lot. So Devin Booker, I don't want to keep throwing up the word two-way a lot, but he definitely has gotten better, much better on the defensive end. And Devin Booker has become more reliable on the defensive end. So Devin Booker, man, you've seen his highlights of how smooth he get buckets, fishing at the rim, the three ball, and he he's a, one of the greatest from, from all my life of watching basketball, he's one of the greatest three-point shooters in the corner. Good form. It, I mean, every, you've seen it since his days playing in, um, in Kentucky. He's such a great corner specialist at the three-point at, 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 at three line. And, you know, Devin Booker, you know, like I said, he, he's, he's getting better and better and better. And he's only 27 years old. So he's got plenty of time. You know, he's already up there, but, you know, you know, still got more years to get a ring. But, you know, Devin Booker is definitely deserved to be on this list. He's seen his stats, he's seen his accolades, what he's done so far. So, shout out to Devin Booker. And moving on to small forward. I got no other than, yet again, no other than LeBron King James. Uh, pretty much, you know, ever since 2020, you know, that's the year he won the championship. And, you know, pretty much not doing much success in the playoffs until two seasons ago. You know, going to the playoffs, making the playoffs. But, you know, LeBron still being dominant at his own position, at small forward position ever since 2020. And, you know, a consistent 25-plus point scorer. And LeBron durability is out of this world, and which makes him be on this list because his availability and durability is OD and, you know, still a great um, scorer, no doubt about it. Good playmaking, playmaker, one of the greatest ice cues at his own position to this day and, you know, throughout the decade of, well, this decade. And, you know, pretty much if anybody making this list, LeBron is always going to be in the 2000 decade list the 2010 decade list and the 2020 decade list because that's how great LeBron has been. The longevity, the consistency, and LeBron just the, the greatest all-around player of all time, no doubt about it. And then pretty much, like I said, I think in this decade, if anything, if anything I can say about his game, his three-point shooting has tremendously has been consistent. Not, he don't take major, major attempts. He take good at just amount, but you know LeBron's shooting ability or shooting percentage has skyrocketed so much. Every you know, pretty much his tenure with the Lakers, you know, and LeBron James, like I said, still making All NBAs, All Star appearances, and still doing his thing at 39, 40 years old. And LeBron James, you are seeing this clip of just greatness, just greatness, our goat, you know, of this generation, and you know LeBron James is just doing his thing. And then who I got at the power forward, no other than the Greek freak, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Giannis Antetokounmpo at that power forward position, him and AD, but Giannis is definitely has been the best, the best power forward since 2020, just been dominant. Biggest thing I love about his game that's underrated and people don't talk about it is how well of his playmaking ability have, has improved since then. Since he's been in the league, I think over the past two seasons, he's averaging right around five to six assists per game. But someone to be that dominant in the paint, not too flashy like that, and still able to make an impact of moving the basketball, I mean, Giannis is... is is definitely incredible in that department. And seeing this club, the rim, the rim attacking, the efficient paint scoring, and the, you know defensively, he's a good rim protector, help defensive defender, and then he all, <coughs> excuse me, then he's also um, 
for how dominant he's been since 2020. He won MVP in 2020, and then to win Defensive Player of the Year the same year. So I mean, you you got to put Giannis on on the first team decade list. Great two way power forward, just as AD, but Giannis definitely be more dominant, consistent, more healthier than AD. But Giannis, like I said, a great rim, a <coughs> great paint scorer, a great rebounder, great help defender, rim protector, and uh, and an underrated playmaker. And you see how effective he is, especially on a one man fast break and transition. All going to take is one two dribbles, and he's already at the rim, slamming, the, <laughs> slam, slamming the ball into the hoop. And then, no other than the center. Most skilled center, pretty much the most consistent center since 2020, Nikola Jokic. Three MVPs already in this decade of the 2020s. Three. Three. And he got a ring to add on to that. Come on, bro. Like, Nikola Jokic, man, big fan of his game. <laughs> Obviously, you see me saying throughout my channel, throughout my videos, I'm a big fan of his game point center can dictate the offense can score when he wants to because he's that versatile offensively at that center position three level score can shoot uh shoot in the paint mid-range regular four level because he got a good post game so he's, he's a regular four level scorer and you know like i said <clears throat> saying his highlights of how skillful nonchalant in a good way of a player that he is you know don't not gonna talk much doesn't talk much at all. He just go out there. Just kind of like KD. Just go out there and just hoop and just trying to win games. And, you know, like I said, Jokic, great IQ. You know, this dude is phenomenal. And you seen his stats throughout the 2020s. And you seen his accolades in the 2020s. And the dude has been just complete the best center since 2020. I know AB had a few seasons or a season where he was the better center. But Jokic is... Right now, to this date, it's completely outplaying and out dominating Joel and B in accolades, stats, outside of scoring. Could and B is definitely a better scorer than Jokic, but outside of that, playmaking ability to set up the offense, have Corey Jokic got that down pack, and he's a great post playmaker. So I mean, this 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 right here is this is right here this all team decade list, bro. Like. You can't really beat that. Like I said, Steph Curry can be at the point guard position over Luka. You can have either one. But this team right here for this decade, that first team, is looking pretty scary. And you still got a guy like LeBron James who's, who's still balling out at the age third down 40 to be on this list. Dominant. <laughs> so that's my list. That's my take on the 2020 first team all-decade list. If you like this video, like. Comment, share, subscribe, do whatever you got to do. I love you guys. Thank you for supporting my channel. Jay Boogie is out.